Now there are obviously some beers out there that are meant to be aged, and there are others that are definitely not meant to be aged, at least not deliberately. IPAs are typically the ones that you do not want to age. Many of them you really want to try and drink as fresh as possible um, because the hops will break down a lot quicker in the beverage. Um, there is one such beer that I actually got from my friend Nicole that I mentioned in the last review that she apologized for its lack of freshness, but I reassured her that I never thought I'd be able to try this beer in the first place and that even having the experience beyond its regular freshness would be something that I could at least still get something out of. So, Pliny the Elder, Russian River Brewing Company. On, on the label here, there are so many messages about drinking it fresh. Respect your elder, keep cold, drink fresh, do not age. Pliny the Elder is a historical figure. Don't make the beer inside this bottle one. Not a barley wine. Do not age. Age your cheese, not your Pliny. Respect hops, consume fresh. Uh, if you must sit on eggs, not on Pliny. Do not save for a rainy day. Pliny is for savoring, not for saving. And consume Pliny fresh or not at all. Well, this one is not fresh, and I'm not expecting that huge hop punch out of it that makes Pliny so beloved. Now, the uh, bottled on date on this, some, some people are going to scream when they hear this, and they're going to wonder why I'm bothering to drink this at all. Well, to that I say, fuck you. I want to drink this. I want to have Pliny, even if it's not going to be the full experience, if I get another bottle of Pliny one day and have it be a little bit more fresh, well, a little bit more, a lot more fresh, I'll have something to really compare it against too, to see where, where it diverges. Um, this one was bottled on January 14th, 2015. We're looking at a little over a year. I mean, I was reading on, on Beer Advocate, some people were freaking out that their bottle was um, six weeks old. Not even, you know, six months, six weeks, and this is 12 months. So I'm not quite sure what to expect out of this. Like I said, um, I'm, I'm thinking that the, the hop bitterness, the punch of that is probably going to be nearly gone. Um, I'm expecting something maybe a little bit more malt forward. I mean, it is an Imperial IPA and you do have some of those Imperial IPAs that are very malt forward, even when they are fresh. So very curious to see what this bottle will bring me. Ugh, there we go. You know what, surprisingly, I am still smelling the hops. So let's see what happens here. Again, I never thought I would be fortunate enough to get a bottle of Pliny because it, it, you don't get it out here in Jersey. You just don't. You know what? Carbonation and everything is still beautiful. The color on it is still beautiful. And the aroma, from everything I read, People would say the moment you open the bottle, the aroma smacks you in the face. It's not doing that to me, but I am getting a nice aroma off of it. I'm still getting that that citrusy aroma from it. You know what? If this is not fresh Pliny, if this is a year past its bottling date Pliny, I can only imagine how good regular Pliny is. This is solid. A nice combination of citrusy and piney. It's not the massive hop bomb that it would be completely fresh, but it is still extremely, extremely good. So if, if with the hops degraded a year, it still tastes this good, I can only imagine when it would be fresh. So obviously this, this is a different kind of review here. You know, most people, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna review their Pliny Fresh. They're not gonna review it a year past. So th this this may be a unique one for YouTube. That is it, just very solid. The the bitterness 
is right where I like it. It is just spot on. Fantastic. Um, I'm, I am, again, I, I didn't know what to expect from this. Um, maybe my palate isn't refined enough to really say, oh, this, you know, oh, it's not, not really that good. No, this is fucking great. So, hmm. I'm definitely going to enjoy the rest of this one. Ah, and if anybody happens to uh, know how I can get a fresh bottle of Pliny so I can compare it to this one, I would be very appreciative. But um, until then, I will, you know, I'll, I'll seek things out. You know, I still, I still want to try and get myself a can of Heady Topper fresh to try that. There so many beers out there. I found out New Belgium is coming to Jersey in uh, March, and there's so much of their stuff that I've wanted to try, but since they haven't distributed out here, I haven't been able to. Um, Stillwater's coming out here next month. Uh, Evil Twin is finally going to be distributed in Jersey next month. So, you know what? Even if I can't necessarily find my fresh Pliny, Heady Topper, Sip of Sunshine, stuff like that, there's still a lot of good stuff coming new to Jersey in the coming months. But this one, don't typically see it in Jersey. Pliny the Elder, Russian River Brewing out of, let's see, where are we? Uh, Santa Rosa, Sonoma County, California. Uh, and this is, what is it, 8%? Yep, 8% ABV. If you're a beer drinker, you know Pliny. You know Pliny. You know it, you'll love it. So thank you again, Nicole, for sending me this bottle. Um, even with this bottling date, fucking fantastic. No complaints. So with that, I will see you guys for the next review.